in this lesson, uh, we're going to introduce you to iPhone application development. We'll show you how to create a very simple application uh, using the Xcode development tools and also a tool called Interface Builder. The uh, another lesson, companion lesson that goes uh, with this, which is the follow-up to this lesson, will show you how to use or apply what we're learning here to develop an actual uh, iPhone fraction calculator application. As you'll see, that application is uh, available uh, for you to download from the App Store, and it also combines much of what we've uh, learned throughout this entire course. So let's get started and develop our first iPhone application. Before we do that, let's just have a little background here, uh, learn a little bit of terminology. You've uh, heard about Coco, you've heard about Coco Touch. Coco is basically just a name that's given to a combination of two frameworks, namely the Foundation Framework, which you've learned about uh, in part one of this course, and the AppKit framework. The AppKit is responsible for doing all sorts of things like uh, presenting the UI to the user um, for a, a Coco application and handling all the events associated with that. Coco is used for programming native Mac OS X applications. Applications like Safari, iTunes, Mail, for example, would be written using Coco. Coco Touch, as you can see here, is a combination of the foundation and the UI kit frameworks. So you see these two, uh, Coco and Coco Touch, have both the foundation frameworks in common. And Coco Touch is used for programming iPhone and iPod Touch applications. This is a very simple um, diagram that shows you the levels uh, or the layers that exist between you the user and the actual computer resources that you're using. For example, it could be on the iPhone, the iPhone's uh, display, uh, could be uh, its memory uh, on a, um, on a um, Mac OS X application, native application, it could be the computer's disk, it could be the network, for example, uh, on either types of devices. So you have these layers, and up here sits your application. Your application is typically resting upon um, whatever framework you've uh, built, frameworks you've built your application on, for example, Coco Touch. So your application will make calls through this layer, the Coco Touch layer, which will typically go down the chain to uh, layers here like application services, core services, and at the very bottom is the Mac OS X kernel. That's the lowest level where the uh, things like device drivers exist, which are which is code that actually knows how to talk to different types of devices, such as uh, the memory, such as the network, such as the hard drive. And so that's just, once again, a basic uh, uh, overview uh, or block diagram. And sometimes we skip some of these layers. For example, your application may actually go down and access um, code that exists um, in application services or core services, bypassing some of these intermediate layers, typically either for functionality or expediency. Looking to advance your career by acquiring new skills? Tired of expensive off-site training programs? Wish you could learn from the best instructors in the industry? Look no further than Live Lessons. Self-paced, personal video instruction by the world's leading technology publishers. Each Live Lesson comes with a DVD featuring three to four hours of instructor-led classroom training, sample program code that allows you to work along with your personal instructor, and an example rich study guide. Live lessons allow you to watch the entire course from start to finish or navigate directly to any of the individual lessons. You'll literally watch over the shoulder of your instructor as he shows you how to build state-of-the-art applications. Live lessons, the power of the world's leading technology experts at your fingertips. To learn more, visit mylivelessons.com today.